Hello planner friends, welcome back to my channel. And today we have a huge box, it's so huge it won't even fit in the frame. But we have a huge box to go over. I was sent this package from Erin Condren. It's for the Focus Collection. So I'm about to unbox this and show you everything. And before we get into the video, do us all a favor and go ahead and click that subscription button Give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and click that notification bell. It's done? Okay, let's jump into it. So, I will start unpacking everything from this huge video so I can show you everything that I've received. So while I'm setting it up and then we're gonna go over every item one by one. These are the ultra fine tip markers. It comes in a 12 pack. As you can see, they're water-based. Ink is ultra fine line wide with an approximately 0.5 millimeters. And these write really fine line. To me, they are like, if you use a Papermate flare, they resemble the Papermate flare. The only difference is they have a very, very, very fine tip, which makes for smooth writing. Now, I can say I've used these pens before, these same markers from Erin Condren, and I haven't had any issues with scratching or anything like that or any of the ink splattering or any issues like that. If you do have any issues with using any of the Erin Condren products, please reach out to their customer service. They will actually refund or replace your whole set for you. The colors that come in are fuchsia, dark red, dark orange, gold, aloe, emerald, cerulean, navy, purple, gray, mocha, and black. And this is a 12 pack of markers. Here you have the 2022 8.5 by 11 focus planner. It is in white vegan leather with gold foiling. And then the back has the Erin Condren logo in Boston Gold. And then the front has 2022 in Boston to the vegan leather. When you first open it up, you see 2022 Focus Planner. This book belongs to and the Erin Condren logo. The first spread is the January 2022 through December 22 year at a glance. You also have notes pages here at the bottom. You have your holidays and then you have dates. This goes from January to December and you can fill this in however you want to. You can put in birthdays, anniversaries. If you're using this for school, you can put in your class schedule. You can also put in your work schedule or any conferences you have, meetings. This is in a layout that you can put however you want to. It is a neutral layout for you to design how you feel and what works for you. When you first open it up, you have your first month, which is January 2022. You have the month before and then you have the month after. You have major holidays listed here, and you also have a section for notes. Again, this is in a neutral layout. As soon as you turn the front page, you have the month calendar, then you have the month and the year, and then you have three sections with no titles so that you can put this how you want. You also have a section right here with boxes that you can use as a checklist, and then you have a blank box at the bottom. And then on the next page is dot grid paper. Then you start your first week. Again, you have a calendar at the top. You have what the week is for that period. And then it's a horizontal layout. At the bottom, you have a note section, which is split into two columns. This part is just lined and this part has like little check boxes. And then that continues on for the rest of the month. You have a calendar on every page for the month. And then you have note pages. And then you go into the next month. At the back of the book, after December, you'll have your 
two page note pages and then you start the regular notes so you have one two three four five line note pages you have contacts then you have the next year which is in this case january 2023 through december 2023 each one of them has four circular list sections for you to put forward planning and then you also have notes pages at the bottom and then you have the Aaron Condren logo and that include concludes the eight and a half by 11 focus planner for 2022. This is the focus pocket planner. It has that same white vegan leather with the gold foiling in the pinstripe design. Aaron Condren is embossed in gold foiling at the back and then the front you can actually get these personalized i think it's up to four um, letters and when you open it it says pocket planner then you have the 22 2023 calendar year from january through december you have heritage and awareness observances then you have a notes page and then it starts off the month now the difference between the focus pocket planner and the regular pocket planner I actually have one available so this is the mid-century circles pocket planner and you'll see that this pocket planner has a more colorful design so the mid-century circles and the flora design all have the colors that correspond with the life planner so January in here would be the same color as the one in the life planner and then the colors alternate depending on what month you're on. In the focused one, it's a more neutral palette and this means that this can be used for professionals, this can be used for students, this can be used for people who like to design their planners their way and need like a blank canvas. So this is your blank canvas to use any kind of colors if you choose to, stickers, whatever you want to use, or you can keep this in a very minimal design as it is. So you, on the dashboard page, you have your monthly goals, important dates to do, and then a line section. And then it starts off with the week and there are horizontal weeks. So they go across. So then you have the days and then Saturday or, and Sunday are at the bottom and they're much smaller than the rest of the days. So then you keep going and then at the end of the period or the end of the month you have a blank note section so you have a two-page note section and then you start February and then you keep rotating and as you can see this doesn't come with any dividers that stick out but what you will see is that there are different colors here it's gray but it's a different spot here that tell you exactly which month it is so you can actually buy labels for this if you want. I choose to keep mine in its format that it is already. I'm not gonna put any labels on it, but you can choose to if you want to, to open it up and flip it straight to that month. So as you can see, I'm just gathering a month and then I'm going right into June. And you can also use the two bookmarks that you get. In the Focus Pocket Planner, you get two bookmarks that are sewn into the book. You get a navy blue and you also get a gray one and the design ones you only get one bookmark and at the end of the book at the end of the period which will be to december you get your standard note page and then you get the regular note section so you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 notes pages and then that ends the focus pocket planner this is the vegan pet folio from Erin Condren it is again in a white vegan leather leather <laughs> with gold pinstripe foiling on it and the back has Erin Condren embossed in gold foiling so beautiful and when you open it up you get a blush interior 
So I was a little bit surprised because when I first saw this, I was thinking it was going to be a palette of like white and grays, but I'm so glad that it has this color combo because it's not a color that's going to pop in your face. It's not a color that is bold. It's just very muted. And so here on this side, you have your day of, and then a spot for you to write the day. You have an empty box to customize it how you want to. And you also have places for you to write times. So time stamp areas with lines. And you can use this for if you're at work and you have a meeting or a very hectic day, you can actually write the different time stamp of things that you have to do. If you're one of those people that do very time-based management with their planners in their life, they're very time sensitive to everything that they have, this is perfect for that. Then you, when you open it all the way, you have your week of, with a place to put the week, you have a Monday through Sunday, and then you have a note section. And again, it's in that very light pink muted tone or blush pink muted tone. And then at the end, you have a checklist. And I love these because you can use these for grocery lists. You can use this for a to-do. You can use this for pretty much anything. And I love having one of the folios. We got one of these in our fall subscription box. And I love these in conjunction with my planner because I can leave this at work and I can literally have it on my desk in my office and I can refer to it throughout the day instead of having to go pull up different calendars or open my planner. This is very handy and it's very portable. So you can have this and you can literally jot down things. Like if you're in a meeting, this is a great place to also jot down notes. And so you can use this as a scheduler. You can use this for a plethora of things. So this is very functional and very usable. And I love the simple pinstripe foiling design on this. The next item we have is the Focus Softbound Notebook. It's in like this olive green color. And when you open it, you have the same pinstripes going down. And it says focus notebook. This book belongs to and a space for you to write your name. And then you just have line pages. And it continues on to the back where you have the EC logo. And then you have again a striped, and it's in like a grayish color, a pinstripe going down. And it has rounded corners. So this is the focus notebook. Here we have the Focus Planner. It's in an A5 size. It's just a little bit larger than the notebook, as you can tell. This one has embossed 2022. When you open it, again, that same pinstripe detailing, it says 2022 Focus Planner. This book belongs to in a space for you to write your name. Then when you first open it, you have the year in review. So it goes from January 2022 to December 2022. And then it has line, a line section at the bottom for you to write down important dates or anything you can think of. Then we have the holidays, all of the holidays for 2022 and important dates. And then you just have dates here. And this has January through December. And there's sections for you to put a date down and then anything that may be important like birthday, anniversaries, if you have any work conferences, your school schedule, or anything like that, you can jot that down here. And then you have the month in review. So you have the month and year, and then it's a Sunday start, and it ends on Saturday. You have the month before, and then the month, the next month is at the top. And then on the that the sidebar you have a note section when you turn the page you again have a calendar overview and then you have three different sections they don't have any headers on them so you fill this out how you want to and then you have this square 
um, task or checklist area here. Then you have a blank box for you to fill in however you want. And then you can let your creativity flow on this dot grid page right here. And then it's a weekly layout. And then there's a note section at the bottom. This part is just line. This is, again has those little squares and then their task lists or check marks, check boxes. And then it just continues on for the rest of the year. And then after you finish up with December, you get one, two, three, four, five line notes pages, and then you get a contact section. And then you have the next year, which will be Jan. I can't believe I'm thinking about January 2023, but it'll be January 2023 through December 2023. And you can use this for forward planning, you know, anything you could think of while you're going throughout the year. If you think of something that might be imperative or important for the next year, you would jot that down here. It has little sections under each month for you to write down important dates. And then it has notes pages. I would use this for like my mammogram appointments or doctor's wellness exams, dentist appointments and things like that. And then you have the logo and then you have the pinstripe page. And that concludes the 2022 focused A5 planner. This next item, you may remember it if you saw any of the unboxing videos from the seasonal surprise box. It was a version of this stand-up pad in that box. So when you open it up, there are, well, there is a very distinct difference from the other one. The other one had a, like a mid-century circles design on it. This one is more of a chic slash neutral look to it so it has monday through sunday and the boxes and the square check list part actually matches this vegan leather so the tones are actually very close together so you have monday through sunday you have a blank box here and then this section is perforated so you can actually tear this off and i would actually use this for a grocery list this would be great to have in your kitchen for meal prep. You can jot down what you're gonna eat that week and put down what all you need from the grocery store on this section. And it's actually very handy. And this has a unique feature. So this pet folio has an actual great feature. You can literally fold it up and have it stand up it's probably a bad angle but it actually stands up and then you'll know you folded it correctly when you see the EC logo in the back so to close it you literally fold it over and to have it stand up you turn it the opposite way and fold it Now this edition I am very surprised about. I actually like it. This is a very, very long, let's see if I can get something for size reference. So this is the pet folio set and this is the schedule pad. So it's very long in length and it's nice. Like as soon as I saw this, I thought about you know, in your office next to your computer, by your keyboard, having this there to literally jot down things that happen during the week, any meetings I have, because sometimes we don't want to just pull out a planner or look on our calendar. This is a great, very great desk mm -hmm. calendar to use. So you have Sunday start through Saturday. It is completely undated. It has this blush pink tone up here for you to write in the date. And then you have these square boxes and then you have some lines here to jot down whatever you need. And then you have a blank canvas down here that is pink and grid space. And then on this side, you have dark grid note section with the asterisk at the bottom. 
I'm loving this. Like this is probably one of my favorite things in this box. So just to recap everything we received from the Focus Collection, we got the pad, we got the folio, we also got the 2022 eight and a half by 11 regular letter size planner. We got the pocket planner. We got one of my favorite items, the schedule pad. We got the 2022 A5 planner, softbound planner. We also got a 2022, <laughs> a focus notebook. <laughs> And we also got the ultra fine tip markers. So I hope you love this video. I hope you found something that you can actually use for this upcoming year. And these items should be on the EC website. I'll try to update the video in the description box with links to everything in the video so you don't have to go searching for it. But if you see this video before EC updated their site and I was able to view those links, please know that I will come back and update those links. So have a good day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.